Oh, we are on our way, literally pulling out of our storage facility. This is so funny. I'm laughing about it because it is calm, cool, and you gotta laugh off some things. try and like double team the tasks that we have today. Mara's gonna take Remy and go one place because she's insisting that she goes with him. Anytime he mentions the bus, she's like, put my shoes on, grab my backpack, I have Owly and Penguin, let's go, let's get out of here and let's do it right now. I started working on this project over the weekend in our yard, oh my God. You know when you like start a project, you're like, it's not gonna be that bad. It's, it's gonna take me like little to no time to finish. I have so many projects in this house that I gotta get finished before we bring the RV here to finish the renovations. We wanna make it so that like all the things that we had are going and ongoing, get that done, and then we'll have time to just put all of our efforts into that. So next stop, the bus. And just like that, we're at the bus, right Rem? We actually might be working with a company uh, very soon and they're gonna actually help us ultimately wrap the RV I don't know if we told you guys the colors. I, th I think, honestly, we should just do a solid black or a solid white. All right, let's go in there, Rem. We gotta turn the, let it start itself for a little bit. And I think we're gonna drop it back at Chewy's so we can get the awning motor. Because the motor that they sent was DOA. Obviously, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But we definitely wanna have an awning, you know, for the trip. Right, Rem? Yeah. So we're here to take some photos for the people who might wrap it and go from there. Where do we wanna go? She gets so excited every time we get here. Going we gotta figure out, Remy, uh, a more temporary, Daddy, a more permanent solution Daddy, for that. Going to beach. You wanna go to the beach? Yeah. Mr. Chewy's gonna fix the awning, and then we're gonna go. We'll take our bikes, and we'll drive around. Diesel maybe go in the wagon. You show him your boo boo. Right here on your elbow. She didn't cry once. Yeah. I'm on this high. I'm tired. I started, I can get out of my house. We have these like really beautiful vines on our fence, can you see them over there? I love them. I wish I could find like a photo or a video, I probably could, of what our fence looked like when we first moved in. Progressively over the years, these vines have grown over our fence and I just love it so much. I think it's so beautiful, Tar loves it too. So I trimmed them all yesterday and I've been cleaning up this thing because unfortunately we had so much leaf and limb debris from all of the trees. So I had to get a lot of this trimmed back, and especially that tree right up there. I tried to talk to you about it, I think, yesterday. Oh, I'm having fun. So I'm trying to keep up with it so that this year, when it does bloom again, hopefully there isn't going to be a ton of crap everywhere. I'm trying right now to get all of this done and worked out because we're going to be working on the RV. It just needs to be done, you know? Somebody's got to do it. As I'm like trimming back this giant palm behind us, there is our like drainage from like the pool and then like when it rains and stuff like that and it always clogs and fills up. And it looks like there was like this pipe that was there that has got completely disconnected and then this is all filled with stuff, which I don't even think you guys can see it. And I haven't, I, have, I genuinely have no idea how I'm even gonna remotely fix that. The only thing that I can think of is that this particular area right here, I'm gonna have to dig out and completely gut basically so that we can run water through it. It can pour, you know, it can pour out and somehow we can kind of like clean out those like drainage areas. Otherwise this is just going to continue to happen and yeah, that won't be good.
What do you got there, pal? Ants. Ants. Just letting them crawl all over you? You're funny. <laughs> What's their names? Kitty. Kitty? Yeah. Where are they? Kitty, what are you doing? This is mine. This is mine. What is? Well, my ants. You want your ants? Apparently, we must have left something there. We don't have a huge issue, but there are ants in there, obviously. Remy has now fallen in love with them. She likes the ants for some reason. Remy, you like the ants? Yeah. Unfortunately, I gotta get some ant traps so it doesn't get into a huge infestation. I also had to, I got the photos I needed done, sent those off, so hopefully I can get that taken care of. And Remy, we can call it the bus. What, what's the RV called again, Rem? A Google? Yeah. We got this. I'm looking forward to this trip. It's gonna be so much fun. You guys looking forward to it? A you see what? A you saw a unicorn? A penguin. Well, you, all right, you have a penguin. Okay, Easter. Hi, Easter. Are you, hi, Easter. Okay, come on. We gotta find that one thing. I don't know, but you can have this one little puppet thing, weird thing. Afternoon, everybody. Allie's back is pretty much dead. I keep having to pop it or trying to pop it. Remy likes to lay on top of my face in the middle of the night when she comes into you. our bedroom. So she, she puts her body like this and then she spreads it across my face. And you don't realize the pressure that 30 plus pounds puts on you. On your face? On your back. I know we keep saying you gotta take the on it. I mean, the RV back to Chewy. But the issue was the awning the first awning motor uh, crapped out us on us and broke at the. Uh, it's unfortunate. It was uh, because yeah. of wind. High it was, wind. Yeah, the wind on the sand dunes. So they sent a what new motor, but that was DOA. So they had to send another motor for the awning. So Chewy said he put that on before our trip because, you know, it's Florida. If we're staying down in Florida, it's very sunny. I would love to have the awning. Remy has been like turning into such a like a little teenager. It's killing me. She went from two to twelve or thirteen. No joke. She yeah. Really did. She looks very old today. Very mature. No, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? You gonna call somebody? You gonna call your best friend? Yeah. Who's your best friend? Mom. Say mom and dad. And dad. Buddies or your buddies, right? <laughs> oh, we got sold out. We gotta go a little faster. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I. <laughs> I think this is a. Uh... Ride a cowboy! Let's <laughs> this go! Is, I think, yeah! the... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is my dream one right there. Allie wants that pink school bus so bad. Weird pink, I know, but. Oh, so oh it's man. open. Yeah, we can go talk to him if you want. Yeah. Listen, I don't need to renovate a whole new thing. I can't yeah. do it. I'm too tired. We're already doing that with a couple other things. We don't need to do another one. Yay! We also got to clean this guy too. He needs a bath. Every time I get in here, I get more and more excited. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him yesterday. Uh, I, was, I wish I could have. Oh my god! I wish. I wish the camera was rolling. I don't know what I was. I was oh doing that god, invisible was... box challenge where you go like this, and then you go like this, and it's like you're like stepping on a box. And I did. <laughs> I farted. It was literally. It was the funniest. Excuse me, the funniest thing. Ready? It's gonna help mom? Yeah, come on, ready? Ready? Come over here. Okay, take it. Here, take it. Oh, we are on our way. Literally pulling out of our storage facility. This is so funny. I'm laughing about it because it is calm, cool, and you gotta laugh off some things. We are pulling out of our storage facility for our RV. I'm in the RV right now. We noticed that one of the tires looked a little weird and we pulled out and it is like astronomically low. And here's the worst part is that there's nowhere locally around us that can pump it enough to give it enough air. We're not sure if there's a hole in the tire or what. And now we're trying to call and find somebody that will come to us to fill up the tire. Because right now, we can't go anywhere. Now I gotta turn back around and go right back into the facility. Ah, it's all right though. It's everything is A-OK. -okay. Poor Giles, I think is gonna have a heart attack, but we're working on it. 
So we've been searching and searching and searching and we found a local body shop that was so nice and they were like, come on down, we'll fill you guys up, which was genuinely like the nicest thing in the world because we called a whole bunch of people, AAA, Good Sam, all these people and unfortunately nobody could help us, which is kind of a bummer. And these people were like, no problem, just come on down. It just goes to show that stay positive, be kind. There are kind people out there that will help you when you are in need. And so he's doing just that. He's making sure that our tires are okay. Um, one was just exceptionally low, which kind of concerned me, and I did not want to drive over the Skyway Bridge, which if you guys have ever seen that, maybe we could show a picture of it right here. It's terrifying, so. I'm sure, I'm not gonna reiterate everything. I'm sure Ali told you everything. We got the truck, we're here at Chewy's. He's going to put the awning on, and then we're just gonna go from there. And hopefully get this trip going. Like this. And then we'll make a, a lasting plan. Whether we keep it, or we sell it, or we take it another trip. That's the game plan. At least we're going to see at the siesta. We're going, <laughs> we're going down the street. We're going to... Key West. We're at least gonna do that. We had a lollipop and now I don't know where it is. I was like, where is it? And she goes, no. Nope. Hey, where's the lollipop? I don't know where it is. No. No. <laughs> it's been a mission. Okay, we started doing this at like 11. Now it's like 4 p.m. So we're kind of burned out. Where do you think you're going? Don't you touch that. <laughs> Remy is not letting Allie go to the bathroom, so she's gonna pee her pants. Do you have a baby? Your bladder's And then if you don't, if you do it, I will pee on you. Remy, poke mommy in the belly. <laughs> hey, what what is that? See it's my little mini cones from Trader Joe's, by the way. So not yes. sponsor, but come on, sponsor. Listen, listen. I love it when people do those videos where they're like like, oh, a Trader Joe's haul or, you know, food. Yeah, that like, sounds awesome. I know, it sounds amazing, right? I would do a Publix haul and it would just be like 25. Things, $300. No, it would be like all subs. But, but like, honestly though, guys, these things have been a godsend for us because- They're like a dollar, two dollars or something yeah, like that. Well, it's like you get, I think like eight of them. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is what we're talking about today. She loves ice cream, but I, we always get worried because I don't want her to have too much. So every once in a while, I give her one of these and it's just like perfect because it satisfies her little sweet tooth. What and we're trying to say oh, is, I can't find it. she's gonna pee herself. Mom, Should mommy have a diaper? <laughs> Did she wear pants? I gotta show you guys this. So the RV had half a tank. I so it had a little less than half a pants. tank. So roughly 50. Um, yeah, so the RV, we put in 50 gallons. Ow. We put in 50 gallons of... We... God, you are annoying. We did 50 gallons of gas. So that means the tank is probably like 75 or something like that. $200, $197 to fill up that RV halfway. So it's good timing that we're not on that long trip right now yeah. and that we're just doing a small one. Yeah. Can I see what's in your hands? You found some bumblebees? Yeah. Yeah, that one's scaring you. The live one's freaky, but the ones I was telling Allie, she reminds me of Wednesday Adams. No, don't bring those in there. Remy, you're a silly goose. I'm gonna go make All right. it. So you're riding a little trike and you have dead bumblebees. Yeah. Your Wednesday Adams meets Jigsaw from Saw. And then maybe the shining. One little fact. Did you guys know Stephen King hated Stanley Kubrick's version of Shining. What's going on? Allie just cut my hair, obviously. Yeah, he didn't like it because apparently it was kind of based on him when he was in a dark place and like a writer's block and stuff like that. And Stanley Kubrick made it too creepy. That's weird. And so he was actually hated the movie. Fun fact for today. We found out kind of what is going on with the bumblebees or the bees and the random moss. Keto stuff might be a cause of it, so we were talking to the people who installed it and what they suggested. Oh, you having fun? It's freezing. What they suggested is wait until right about now and turn it on or set it up to the schedule and then something early in the morning. Basically before the bees are there and then after the bees and then there shouldn't be an issue. There shouldn't be an issue. I mean, do you like my dad jokes? Yeah. Thank you. It feels so bad though that I that did that for so long until we figured it out. But the good news is we figured it out. 
And the bad news is, there is a chip on my lens. Is it this one? Yeah, it's the one I was using. Yeah, it's right there. It's a bummer. Here's a fun story about me. When I was a kid, I almost got kicked out of swim lessons. There was, I had one last chance, otherwise I was gonna flunk and I was done. So this is very impressive. I don't think I was two and a half, almost three. Go Remy, go Remy, go. No, don't put underneath you, goodbye. You're doing, oh, you're cold. You wanna get out? One, two, three. All right, well, today was a complete opposite. Oh, here we go. Get, get out of the way. <laughs> we got the RV finally back to Chewy. Hopefully, that'll be the last of it, except a little bit of, uh, yeah, I, yeah, we still have that. So that thing we did for uh, charity, I still have one. I had to keep one. Anyway, I'm just gonna end this really quickly. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to, uh, everyone, congratulate Remy. She's, she's floating now. It's huge. Anyway, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye.